if you've got a young family, a family with any age children, choosing a guard dog breed that will protect them if necessary, protect your home if necessary, yet not pose a risk to you and your family is a very difficult decision to make. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a few of my favorite breeds that meet that role perfectly. Welcome back to the Femrear Canine Show, guys. If we're just meeting, my name's Will Afferton. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you choose the perfect breed for you and then how you can become a high-level canine leader that can raise your own perfect canine companion. But this video is dedicated to the best family guard dog breed. So without further ado, we're going to dive in to my first pick. Now, this list was so hard for me to compile into an order, it is going to be in no particular order. I'm just gonna highlight some breeds that I think might make a perfect fit for you, some pros, some cons, and then you can make the decision of which one will best suit you, your lifestyle, and more importantly, your family. And I'm gonna kick off the list with the Bauble. Now, the Bauble is one of the more intense guarding breeds on this list, and if you're looking for guarding and protection skills, more so than potentially other attributes, then the Bauble is a wonderful, choice. Being the farmer's dog in Africa, they were bred to be able to specifically protect livestock and the farm and homestead. However, those mastiff traits that were born and bred into the bauble from day one were still there. So very quickly, people realized not only are they intense guarding breeds, but they bond wonderfully with the family and have a very deep and natural instinct towards protecting the family. Now, the flip side of the bauble is, like I say, what makes them incredible guardian and protection breeds, being very, very confident, very, very assertive, not necessarily needing to look up to their handler or their owners for guidance and direction and being very willing to make decisions for themselves. Those decisions are essentially guarding decisions, which are violent decisions at times. It can make them more unreliable to less experienced owners. Now, experienced owners and handlers that can manage large, powerful, more independent guarding breeds can find that the bauble will make a wonderful family pet. However, for first time owners or novices or people that have never experienced what it's like to have a giant breed and especially a very independent, confident giant breed might want to steer clear of the bauble for now because they do require an expert hand to keep them fully under control and reliable. Which brings me nicely onto my next breed, which flips the script entirely. And we're gonna talk about the St. Bernard, a true gentle giant. If your first and foremost focus is on a family pet that is wonderful with your children, the St. Bernard or St. Bernard, however you want to pronounce it, is a excellent choice. Now, when it comes to natural protection and guarding skills, like most dogs, they have some and they will sound a decent uh, alarm in terms of barking and growling if somebody is around your home that shouldn't be. However, in terms of assertively and confidently providing any actual protection skills, the St. Bernard isn't necessarily a great choice. However, I truly believe that for most families, what you actually need is what I call intimidation factor. Having a dog that will stop a bad guy from trying in the first place. If somebody is going to threaten you or your family whilst there is a giant breed, even one as friendly and docile as a St. Bernard, the sheer size, weight and intimidation factor that a giant breed brings to the table will make them think twice before they even try. Likewise for burglaries into your home, which is the most common crime that is committed to families and is one one that even myself as a father and a husband terrifies me and keeps me up at night and is one of the driving forces why I have guardian breeds as part of my family. Because if there is somebody lurking around my house while we're asleep or why we're not there, I want to ensure that I have a dog that will sound a powerful alarm and will make them turn tail and run in the opposite direction. And again, 
giant large breeds will sound that alarm and if people are peering through your windows and see a giant breed they oftentimes won't bother taking the risk and will simply go and try somewhere else might not be the best case for where they end up going but at least for you and your family you have succeeded in stopping a horrible incident from happening in the first place so then let's move on to a happy medium between the bauble and the saint bernard and we're going to be talking about the bull mastiff the bull mastiff is the first family guard dog breed I ever had and she was around when we had our first son. I can hand on heart attest to the incredible nature and temperament of the, bull, of the bull mastiff around young children and in a family setting. They make wonderful family guard dog breeds. However, the bull mastiff does have a higher level of confidence and a higher level of guarding and protection skills than a breed like a St. Bernard does. However, they're not quite as intense and confident as a breed like a bauble so they strike a really nice happy balance however they are like all breeds especially giant guardian breeds going to require a more skilled owner or handler that can ensure that that dog understands that they must look up to you for guidance and direction and you must have the ability to keep them under control at all times one of the most common accidents, borderline disasters that happen with large guardian powerful breeds if you have children in the home is when people's friends or your children's friends come to play in your home. In those situations, especially if your children are anything like my eldest and they like to run around, they like to rough house, they like to play army, they like to play wrestling, and your dog isn't under complete control, may misread that situation and, and attempt to protect their loving member of their family which can often end up in serious incidents with your child's friends and that is one of the driving forces why i believe that every single dog especially family guardian breed should 100 percent always be crate trained even once they come out of puppyhood and adolescence and maybe they're fully toilet trained they're not destroying your home anymore having the ability to put them in a crate in a way that they love it's their safe environment it's their Den that you've created they love going in and out but in situations like that where you might not be able to keep an eye on all circumstances and situations you can control the variables by popping them into a crate so then let's move on to a bit more of a wild card and a breed that many people don't even consider and that is the giant schnauzer the giant schnauzer is one of the most underrated guard dog breeds in the world for a variety of reasons whether it be competition levels of protection and guarding sports through to genuine police and military uses all the way through to being a wonderful family guardian if you're in the market for a guard dog breed that is highly trainable more so than just a natural guardian the giant schnauzer can make a wonderful choice maybe they're not quite as trainable as dobermans malinois and shepherds but they are right up there and often compete in those sports at the highest level and they are also schnauzers and schnauzers are great family companions and they carry a look about them that isn't necessarily as intimidating as some of the other breeds that we're going to be talking about so maybe yes you do want a large powerful family guardian breed that's very trainable but actually when you go out in public or have friends over to your home you don't necessarily want a more traditionally intimidating looking breed and if that's the case i truly believe the giant schnauzer is one of the best picks for you and your family and then last but certainly not least in this video i'm going to talk about my personal family protection guard dog breed that i have at my home right now performing that very duty and that is the english mastiff the largest dog breed in the world in terms of weight yes there's a couple of breeds like the wolfhound and the great dane that might be taller but in terms of sheer mass and size they are the largest breed in the world they have those mastiff features and an incredibly booming bark so they are off the charts when it comes to intimidation factor they are also incredibly low energy so if you live an active life a very busy 
life like me and my family do, then they make a great choice as they can settle down and be quite content at snoozing all day. Yet, when they want to come over to family activities, take her to coffee shops, bring her out on holiday, then our English Mastiff is a joy to bring to those things as well. However, for me, the reason that I chose the English Mastiff is that truly they are the most friendly, lovable and docile guard dog breed that I have ever encountered with children. Still to this day, a year on from bringing her into our life, it warms my heart every single day, the way I see her care and interact with my children. How relaxed, calm she is with my children. And for me, she is the perfect family guard dog breed. So this video kind of goes out to Eileen, our English Mastiff, but it doesn't mean that that's the only choice. In this video, I wanted to make sure that we covered a few different breeds for different purposes because everybody's life, lifestyle, family, circumstances are all different. And what might be perfect for me might not be perfect for you. So I hope this video gives you some tips and tricks and a few things to think about on your journey to finding your perfect family guardian breed if you did find the video useful please give it a like and if you're new here subscribe so that you can join our incredible community because i can't wait to see you on the next episode here on the femria canine show